Hello guys and welcome back to another Ellen Permadeath run. So for today's run, we are going to go for this fellow here. His name is Fuga, fellow of Storm. He is a male, he is a child, he's 18 years of age. His father was shit scum and his mother was an angelic exile. So the perfect match, match made in heaven. His birthplace was somewhere house in a lively town. So on my previous videos, someone mentioned well recommended going with the Gollum Executioner build. So this is what I've gone for. So Gollums are material, materials imbued with life through magical means. Compared to other races, they boast vastly superior physical strength. However, perhaps as a trade-off, their mana and speed are notably inferior. Gollums have a strong resistance to poison, are immune to bleeding, and possess the advantage of not succumbing to a state of being dazed. And the class Executioner, they are hereditary experts in execution, appointed by the king through generations. They're well versed in weapons, the human body and the knowledge of iron balls to carry out executions smoothly. They embrace death and can harness their full power standing on the brink of death. So their domains are cold, cut and nerve. So let's have a quick look at our attributes. So for this build, the strength and endurance is going to be quite high. Dexterity is okay. The will's okay and the rest of it's going to be quite low. So he's skilled in two-handed. Um, Throw in is on six and the rest of them are not very not very high. The feats will start with a, a racial traits. So physical damage reduction is 10 and elemental damage reduction and minus 15. Arcane core, which means I'm resistant to lightning, resistant to poison, resistance to cut, I'm immune to daze and bleeding. I'm also a light eater, so I've got decreased hunger cap. Heart of death, physical critical rate increases as my health decreases, so I'll get stronger the lower my health. And mana body. Mana can be used as health. Cannot die until all my mana is depleted and it negates neck hunts. So, as usual with the other playthrough, we've changed it to Oath of Eternity. So the permadeath is on. And for this prologue, prologue I'm going to go for A Night in the Meadow, which is standard one. But this one's going to be the Winter, which is the test version. So, let's get straight into it. Yes, I'm happy with that. Let's go. We don't need to read through all this. Let's just get straight into the action. Here we go, we wake up and it's covered in snow. Nice. I'll quickly whiz through all of this because I'm sure everyone's seen this all before. Okay, nice, here we are. Good morning, sleepyhead, we're awake. We'll just whiz through all of that to help. Let's do that just to get rid of these notifications. Uh, ability bar up there, so we start with the standard meditate, quick craft, self-harm and pray. And I will change the layout slightly. So let's toggle the widgets because I prefer this view. We've got our inventory, that's fine. We'll place that down there. We've got the adventure log, oak bandages, which is standard what you start off with. Uh, let's pick this up. Let's eat some vegetable soup. I'm bloated now. Let's quickly talk to Ashland. So he's given us a land deed. Let's quickly pick this up. We'll pop this down. Uh, let's just place this. Where should we place it? Yeah, we'll place it there. There we go. Nice. Really want to move these quickly quest tracker up there pop up notifications over there that's fine pop my feed there there we go okay so we have got the land let's quickly speak to these just so they give me some bits and pieces so we've got the quest board there nice so acquired a axe let's pop that down into the let's get rid of her first pop that down into the hot bar down there uh, we've also got some 10 gold bars. Let's quickly speak to Fiamma as well. Uh, she will give us a companion. I did go over the bear last time, so let's mix it up a little bit. Let's go for a little girl. 
Okay, there we go. Nice. So we've got a formidable. Mebo the little girl. Let's have a quick look at her. What has she got equipped? She's got wooden long stuff. Uh, grass feather hat, grass shirt, and a pair of grass light gloves. Have a quick look at the quest board. Let's quickly run through all of this. Right, we'll grab that box. Okay, there we go. Nice. Let's pop this box down. Place it. Let's just pop it there for now. There we go. So gold bars. Let's move them into my purse. change that quickly right okay open that let's quickly select that to shared there we go yeah let's get loyal involved but he was through all of that there we go nice so we've got loyal let's go bedrock exploring yes i do they give me the Cave to go to. Okay, nice. Let's pick all of them up. So, what we've got stone cutter, mason table, drafting table. Nice, we've got them. We've got a scroll of return, scroll of evac. We've got some logs, oak stick, and some grass strings. Right, a lock chest. Let's Pick this one, we can't do it. Speak to her, because she's trying to fool us. Oh, we will grab them block pick charges as well. Nice, let's put them into our hot bar. Well, they want us to defeat this. Okay, she could do it on her own. Let's just attack. There we go, nice. We'll grab them we've got five oak bandages yeah let's pick all of them let's put them away let's pop these onto the hot bar as well uh, we've got some throwing stones let's put them in so we can auto attack as well let's quickly dump all of these in there for now well, we'll put our adventure log in there as well and kill this boar There we go. I was actually hanging myself. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Let me go to the quest board again. Uh, I want to look for a puppy. There we go. So we've got our first quest to go and save this puppy. But we will need to grab some weapons, grab some armor, and level up a little bit more first. So I think that's everything in here. Let's head on out and let's see what we can find. I'll tell you what, let's build a workbench first. Will you craft one of them? And let's pop the workbench, let's pop it down there for now. Okay, so we've locked all of these shipping chests. Let's craft one of them for Loitel. That'll complete that quest for him. And let's pop the shipping chest. Just pop it down there for now. There we go, nice. Oh, where's Loitel gone? Where is he? Yes. Empty bottle, we'll take care of that. Yeah, let's see what else we can find around here. If we can pick some stuff up, we can might be able to um add it for a bit of money. Yeah, let's give her a mushroom. There we go. Right, let's equip the axe, it's gonna be easier to harvest. Grab some crim as well, get some blueberries.
collect these yellow flowers as well. Because apparently these are worth money, so. Grab some mushrooms. Oh, and these as well. We'll get some planks out of that. Got some oak planks. More mushrooms. Some berries. Oh, I am exhausted now. Just got to keep an eye on that. Okay, let's pop all these into here. Yeah, well, with the yellow flowers, we'll sell them. Puffs of grass, we'll pop these in. Rare mushroom. And we'll keep that. Uh, we'll sell that as well. Let's just pop blueberries. We'll keep them. Yellow seeds. We'll dump them in there in the vines. Okay, so let's hit this chest up. Let's get rid of the yellow flowers and the bottle. See how much money we get for that. But we can make some roasted fruit, so I might as well make that. I need to sleep first because my stamina is low. So let's meditate and go to sleep. Okay, nice. So we have learned how to make a poster. So, fruit. Let's make three. Oh, I do need some wood, to be fair. Let's quickly chop this tree down. I'll put a branch into it. That should be enough fuel. Pop that into there. And roasted fruit. Three of them. Lovely. Pop them away. Okay, so it does want me to craft a torch, which I probably will need to be fair in the dark. So what do we need for a torch? We need uh, branches, string and resin. So the string we can make six string on there. Let's do that. Oh, that's dropped my stamina down to minus three. So I will need to rest. Pop them into there and let's quickly meditate and go to sleep and we'll chop some trees down. We should be able to craft a torch then. What did I get? Oh yeah, 40, 40 gold for them yellow flowers, 12 for the bottle. Okay, 52. And I did learn a recipe of a stone chair. Nice. Chop some trees down. Let's get some wood and resin. this into the chest so uh, we've got a few bits of logs there tufts of grass uh, pop the resin in there as well and the string grass string so I should have enough now to craft a torch yeah there we go we're gonna craft a torch well, we'll pop that away we'll equip that there we go at least we've got a light source now let's go and speak to Ashland Have a look at the quest board, come over here for a minute, Lorta wants us to craft a shovel and a hoe. Um, I could do that later there, I just want to get out there really and start leveling up my skills. Um, I am tired at the minute. Uh, can I craft anything else? I do need a weapon, so I will need a tinker's table. Uh, but I do need a table and a chair. So for that I do need a carpenter's table so we need oak planks and some stone but first for that I will need a salt mill so I need some stone oh we've got a little uh, duck here let's oh it's formidable okay stay away from him that's the last thing I want to be doing when I just started the game is uh dying to a duck oh where's this stone at there we go drop some stone Nice, gathering skill has gone up to level 2. Found a herb, nice. Where's the 
Where's the rest of this stone? Is that stone? Yeah. Okay, nice. So we should have some enough stone to make the uh, sawmill now. So let's just pop all of these into there. Let's look at our crafting table. Sawmill, let's craft one of them. But it's stamina cost of 40 if I am on zero. So that shouldn't kill me. Might have hurt me. Yeah, so it took a little bit of how 4 HP off me. But at least I've got a sawmill now. So let's just pop the sawmill down there. And uh, nice. So you don't... For the tables now like the production tables you don't actually have to have it in your backpack now so anything that's in your inventory any in the boxes you can actually use now so that's a good quality of life mod that they've added into it recently i'm exhausted so what about a bed have we got enough for a bed makeshift bed uh, no i need leaves really grab some leaves I'm taking damage while I'm doing this. Yeah, 29 HP, okay. But that should be enough for a bed. Quickly dump them leaves into there. Seed, we'll put in there. Tufts of grass as well. Let's go. So, to makeshift bed, that's going to cost four stamina. I'm probably better off sleeping first. So, let's just meditate. And then we'll build a bed in the morning. Okay, nice. So we learned how to make a barrel in our sleep. Uh, we are getting a bit hungry as well. So let's eat some roasted blueberries. And craft a makeshift bed. There we go. Go, let's just pop a bed down there. There we go. Lovely. And two rare mushrooms. I wonder how much I'll get for that. What does that give me? Super rare and fragrant. I wonder if I could sell them. Let me sell them, see how much I'll get for them super rare mushrooms. I just want to know. If it's not, if not worth it, I won't do it again. But uh, We need to make some planks. So let's pop six cedar logs into there. Okay, nice. A new discovery of cedar planks. Pop them into my chest. And we can make a carpenter's table now. So let's pop them. Stamina six. Yeah, that's going to take me down to zero, so that's okay. Let's pop the... There we go. Carpenter's table there. Nice. So I could make myself a wooden weapon here, so I'm good at like two-handed with this build, so that's what I want to go for, like the sworded weapons or axe or whatever it gives me. Um I will need some sticks though. So let's quickly craft some sticks. Tell you what, let's quickly sleep. Draining my stamina doing all this. And we have got nail. Yeah, two rare mushrooms. 176 for them two rare mushrooms. Wow. Nice. Well, I did that now. How much we got? I've got two, three, eight now. Uh, I did learn how to make a signpost as well. Right, we have got mail, so let's grab this letter. That's the journal. Journal alerts. Let me read that. I don't really need that. Let's pop that into there. We'll sell it. Probably get about 10 gold for that, if that. And. I need to make some sticks, that's what I need. I will need some branches, so let's chop down this one, chop down these little trees. Get these branches. Well, that should be enough, I should be able to create, craft a wooden weapon out of that now. Pop them into there, pop the leaves in. And we'll go for the rosewood branches. Is that the hardness of that 30? Okay, we'll stick with that and then we will. We've got a wooden weapon now. Nice. Uh, what can we use? Palulu logs. Uh, we've got two birch logs. Fur log. Let's use the palulu. We've got the string and then we've got two rosewood, so we've got any magical stones for it. So let's craft one of these. 
Let's see what we get. What do we get? Uh, Palulu Longsword. Nice. So, double edged sword. Uh, the attack value is 2d5. So, we're looking at what? 10 on that. Okay. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's equip that. Nice. So, at least we've got a sword now. And I think. Oh, what we've got here? Never mind. It's Lama. Let's stay away from him. Oh, we'll grab them as well. Oh, we've got a formidable gnome over here. I'll let my uh, Meebo or the little girl take care of him. Have a quick look at the quest board. Um, a collector of compasses. He wants compasses. No, I don't know how to make compasses. I'm sorry, no at all. Um, what about armour? Mm, I've craft a pair of shoes at the minute. Wooden pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, nice. So we've got a pair of grass shoes at the minute, which doesn't really give us anything. So we'll put them on anyway. Um, pair of light gloves. Bucket hat. Uh, I do need some bones. Right, let's quickly grab some bones. We'll, we'll craft a bucket hat. Oh, we've got dodo there. Let this dodo on. There we go, nice. Grab some meat from the dodo. And oh, let's grab, grab these bones and we can make ourselves a helmet then. There's a loiter up here. Loitering. Want some more bone there. Grab that one. Right, so we should have a nut. I'll grab that as well over here. We should have enough to make a bucket now. Yeah, let's craft a bucket. Let's craft one of them. Current stamina cost is three. That's fine. Let's pop that. Uh, we've got a birch bucket. It gives us PV plus two. Nice. So we've got a bit of protection there. Let's pop that one in. Uh, she did take a bit of a hit from that. Um, Odo. Uh, meat. Let's cut this meat quickly. And I think we'll head off. We'll head out to try and level up some of our skills. Do a bit of fighting. So meat on the bone. Let's quickly craft some of that. Uh, we will eat that now. There we go. Nice. Uh, stamina's on 15. So... Yeah, we see it now we're not tired at the minute so let's quickly meditate just to get her health up and i think we'll head off out and have a little wander see what we can find let's quickly put these this stuff in the um box first put the bones in there we'll put we'll sell them cans Got these over here let's pop the cans in there there we go nice what else is in there? Oh, the letter, okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's go. Let's quickly skip through all this. We don't need to know about this. Okay, so we've got quite a few um, points of interest here. That's where we need to go for the quest, the puppies. We've got an old cave there. Uh, no, no, that's where the other quest is. I think what we'll do, we'll probably just enter some of these, to be fair. Formidable pig. These are going to be formidable. That's what I could do with a boomerang, actually. Okay. Okay. That's uh. This took quite a bit of a damage there. All right. Let's go back because I do want a boomerang. That's going to help me hitting people from a distance. So, boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. I think that would be on the tinker's table, if I'm correct. Um, so, for the tinker's table, I do need a table and some chairs. So, let's go to the carpenter's table. Uh, oh, no, it's on, the, it's on the carpenter's table, the boomerang. Uh, but I will need a desk and a chair for the tinker's table. Let's craft a boomerang. Because the weapon's value on that is 2d9 plus 3, so that's going to be pretty decent to be fair. 
Do some cedar planks. All right, let's craft a boomerang. Um, probably do with giving her a boomerang as well. Let's pop this into, there we go. Let's pop that into my hot bar. And what do we need? I need a table and a chair. So a desk on there, that's fine. Let's quickly craft one of them. And then I will need a chair. So a round chair as well. Let's pop two of them into there. Put all of them away. And I should have enough now for a tinker set. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Uh, that's going to be minus seven. So I'm probably better off getting some sleep first. All right, Lloyd's all budgie up. My bed now. The 13 orange for that. Not great, but it was just any old crap. Um, I did you what did I? Oh, I've improved the recipe of stone chair to level two now, nice. So Tinker's table. Pretty craft one of them. Uh, let's pop this down, let's just pop it there for now. Nice. So I will need a pickaxe. What do I need for a pickaxe? I need stone and a stick and some string. Okay. Right, we are getting hungry at the minute as well. We're going to eat some roasted blueberries. I'm surprised they haven't gone off yet. There we go. Let's eat that. That's fine. She is starving. I could give her something. Should I give her a mushroom? Pop that into there. Let's give her a mushroom. There we go. Give her all of them. There we go. Nice. And Tinker's table. So string. I need string. So have I got enough vines for string? No, I haven't. So I need to grab some vines. There we go, there's some, let's grab them. Um, some more over there. Oh, we've got a hermit crab here, a fair hermit crab. Well, let's see how much damage I can do with this sword on hermit crab. Doesn't look like I'm touching her at the minute, I'm missing. Oh, there we go. Doing a bit of damage. Okay, nice. Got a bit of meat from a hermit crab then. Probably grab, grab some more of these vines. We got our formidable ducks over there. We'll leave them for now. I've overmatched llama. Let's stay away from them. Okay, so we've got some vines. Uh, what else did I need? Let's quickly pop these into there and quickly cut this meat off before it goes before it goes off. There we go. Uh, let's quickly eat that because we are hungry. And weed stew. Let's make some weed stew. Craft two of them. There we go. Pop them away as well. So, Tinker's Table, what else did I need? Uh, I needed string, stone, and sticks. Let's quickly go and grab some stone. Okay, nice. So, my gathering's gone up to level three now. got six stone okay that should be enough let's quickly make some string as well so max that out we've got four of them stamina cost of eight that's fine and I did need some sticks as well so let's pop all of this into there and let's go grab some 
branches so I can make some sticks. I might have some actually. Let's have a quick look at the. Um... Oh well, I want the uh, sawmill, don't I? Yeah, so I've got a couple of branches there. Might as well make some sticks out of them. That should be enough now. Uh, pickaxe, there we go. So it's just going to be a granite pickaxe at the minute. Harness of 18, which is not great. Um, I'll have to go out and find some more, but at least I can mine something. Yeah, let's craft that. It's going to take a bit of HP off me. Yeah, 2 HP. Hammer, uh, that comes in handy for dismantling as well. Uh, Woodcutter's axe, I've already got one of them. Okay, I don't really need anything else. Uh, let's put away the granite pickaxe. Let's pop that into our hot bar. And let's get rid of these sticks as well. Pretty speak to these, see if they've got anything to say to me. No, quest board, he just still wants a compass. Alright, okay, so we are exhausted, so let's go and sleep. Because I will need to eat as soon as I wake up, and then we'll probably go out. And no, I don't want to pick it up. Let's sleep. Then we'll go out and try and fight a few enemies, see if we can try and level up. Okay, nice. So I learned how to make a purse. So what would that be on? The Tinker's Table. Let me just really click on all of these just to get rid of the arrow. So at least I know what's new and what's not new once I learn it. Them. That's fine, and yeah, that's okay. Um, so I'm not actually hungry at the minute. So we've crafted a Palulu longsword. We've got a birch bucket. Probably want to give her a boomerang as well. A boomerang. I do need some planks. I've got enough string. Let's quickly make some planks. I uh, will need to get some more logs really chop this tree down oh we've got poo tip there we go okay, took care of him Okay, right, let's auto dump all of this into there. We'll quickly stick them logs into there as well, put the seeds in. Let's quickly make some planks. So, what have we got here? Five birch logs. Right, we'll quickly do make some planks out of them. And that mushroom's gone off, I've just noticed. Oh, well, it's stale at the minute. It's still edible. So, we should have enough for a. Boomerang, there we go, nice. Gonna craft one of them and then we'll give that to my little friend over here. Right, well, let's trade, let's pop this into her inventory. There we go, nice. So she's got a boomerang now, so she could do some. Um I've just given her more one, haven't I? But they're the same anyway. Let me have a quick look. Trade on that one, what's that? Yeah, 2d6 plus 3. My one's actually more powerful. It's 2d plus 3. Okay, nice. Yeah, so that was the right decision. Well, I'll keep that one. You have that one because it just say you are formidable. And I am a weakling at the minute. Let's get rid of these planks. Let's pop them into there. There we go. Oh, that food's gone off now. Or stale. It's gone stale. Let's eat it before it goes off. Okay, who's fighting here? What was that? Corpse of a rat. Okay, nice. We're we'll quickly going to cut this meat. Meat on the bone. Let's craft that. There we go. Put that away. There we go. Nice. The stamina's on 19. That's okay. All right, let's head out then. Let's see what we can find. Oh, we've got some yellow uh, flowers there. Grab them. Just got a bit of money from collecting some of them. Got pasture there. There we go. 
Alright, let's grab these pastures because I can make some weed stew out of them. Uh, nice, so I've learned how to make a vine bush now. Right, I'm exhausted. Okay, nice. So we've got quite a bit of uh, pastures there. We can make some um, weed stew out of that. But I am tired, so let's quickly have a rest. We'll go to sleep. And we'll go and explore. So now it is winter as well, so obviously all the, um, all the rivers and all the ponds are obviously frozen over. Uh, hungry. Let's quickly eat some rat on the bone. Yellow flower, let's pick that one up. Pick some bamboo up as well because we can eat that. Yeah, that's very crispy and slightly rough. We got here, yeah, pewter. There we go. We kill him. Ooh. Get him with a boomerang. There we go. Nice. Right, let's stay away from the twin tails at the minute. They're overmatched. They are quite annoying. How much did I do there? And 13 and afflictive fear onto him. Nice. Grab the offal. Oh, there's an eye over there. She killed him? Yeah, she has. Right, let's quickly meditate just to heal her up. Uh, what we got here now? We've got an altar of healing, so let's. Um. Those faithful to Jure can heal wounds, deepening your faith, grants you bonus modifiers to the following attributes. Will, endurance, regeneration, meditation, anatomy, cooking, magic device, magic capacity. Yes, yeah, so I don't really want to go for that with this build, so let's leave that for now. Um, I wonder if I can get rid of these pillars. I think I need a hammer. I don't know. Is he going to attack me if I take this? I hope not. I wonder if I can sell these. Made of granite, so I don't know. Yeah, they're not that heavy either. Well, they're not attacking me, that's fine. So let's grab these pillars, pop these away, and we'll go and put these into the chest and see what we get for these. Oh, I am over encumbered now as well, which is good for training. Oh, okay, we got a formidable duck. Yeah, so it's good for weight training, this is. Very over encumbered. Well, let's go. Let's pop these back into the chest. Let's see what we can sell these pillars for. Decent amount, I'll go back and grab the rest. Well, let's pop three into there. Auto dump everything into there. These, let's put the seeds in there as well. Pop these them off. Well, I'll keep that with me, just so I can eat it. Pastures. Oh, the flowers. Let's pop the flowers in there as well. Pop two flowers into that. And now we stew. Should be able to use the pastures, yeah. So I can make, what, nine of them. That's going to cost 27. Um, bring that down to about 15. Let's make five of them. Over them, craft them. I've got fuel in it. Okay, why is that not crafting? Got fuel. Let's put some more fuel in. Okay, maybe it didn't have enough fuel. That's probably why. So five of them. Yeah, there we go. It didn't have enough fuel to do the whole five. So we managed to get four of them. Let's pop them away. Um, and we have got a troublesome soup there, which we will get rid of. Let's just sell that. We'll get a lot for it, but we'll get rid of it. And I want to know what we get for them pillars. So let's pop out. Let's head back over. Um, let's go to this one. Go onto this tile. Well, we've got a formidable pig there. Nice. Well, she's just running off doing her own thing. 
Uh, let's hit that with a boomerang. There we go. Nice. Let's quickly meditate. Oh, look at that. 384 for them big pillars. Well, I'm definitely going to grab the rest of them. I didn't realise you got that much for them. Well, we'll finish this toy on and then we'll go grab go and grab some more pillars. Well, oh, forget them flowers. Them pillars are where it's at. I'll grab some bamboo. I'm getting hungry, so let's eat some weed stew. Eat two of them. Is she hungry? Yeah, she's starving at the minute. Um let's grab these give them to her yeah. sort you out if you insist what's she doing let you eat them okay she's still hungry i'm just gonna give her rotten mushroom i don't really want to give her some rotten mushrooms could go give her a grotesque offal yeah, let's grab that. Let's gift her a grotesque scuffle. But she's still hungry. We're going to have to get some meat from somewhere. Take care of this goblin. How much did I do? Eight damage on that. Six on that one. Five. Okay. And then what? Five on that one. Hey, nice. Well, she just ate something. What was it? A crim. Nothing else left on this tile. Let's go back down to here and let's grab the rest of them pillars. That they are worth a lot. Well, how many did I grab? Three or two? I can't remember. Was it three? So we've got three. Three hundred odd for them. These in here. Let's go. Let's grab this one. There we go. Can we grab? I wonder if we can sell this altar of healing. Is that going to do anything if I grab it? Am I going to get smited or something? Yeah, there's no way I could carry it anyway. Look at my encumbrance down in the bottom right here. 639. Right, okay. Definitely not take that. Okay, nice. Let's pop these into our chest. Chip these out. Three of them, there we go. Auto dump some of them, and how are we looking? 15, so I do need some more food, really. I wonder if I hit this overmatch llama. They might join in with me. Let's go for it. All right, let's go. Head back. I want these all to join in. Ah, oh, didn't even give me any meat. That's pointless. We're gonna have to, looks like we're going to have to make some more weed shoe. Well, max of them, I can make four. Stamina costs 12, that's fine. Here we go. That one. Won't get any money for that, we'll just get rid of it. Have a quick look at the quest board. He still wants a compass. Uh, grab the gallows. I wonder if they're going to be heavy. Yeah, yeah. Not that, not as heavy as that altar, but yeah, yeah. I can't move. Let's throw this over there. All right, let's pop this into here. See how much we get for these for the gallows as well. Pop that into there. There we go. Go and pick this one up. Pop this one into the chest. Oh no! Pop the chest down. There we go, let's pop another gallows in there, see how much we actually get from that. There's some ducks over there, which we'll probably get some meat from. We are both hungry, she's very hungry and I'm hungry. Okay, formidable duck, no match for my boomerang. Is that the duck gone? There you go. Oh, I've missed. Nice. Got one meat from that. Really put that meat on the bone, duck on the bone. And then we will 
Yeah, let's just eat it because I've got some stewers back up. Oh, let's head out. Let's head to this um, tile here. Uh, floating formidable eye. Right, 16 damage that does. This boomerang is actually ridiculously good. Bird's nest there as well. Oh, she's nicked something. What's that? Um, what was that? A gnome? What did I get? Egg of a rat. Nice. Formidable gnome. Okay, nice. Uh, we've got corpse of a gnome. We can cut that off. Um, I probably want to get a bonfire on the go as well to take with me just so I can cook it on the go. We've got, oh, we've got an orange tree there. How is this orange tree? Okay, nice. We've got two oranges there. Is she still hungry? Yeah, she's very hungry. Let's give her two oranges. There we go. A formidable sheep. Get a sheep out. Nice. 16 damage on that one. Eight. Hit him with the sword. Six. Nice. We've got some more meat from that. That's good. Bird's nest. Okay, nice. My gathering skill's gone up to level four now, and I did just get a egg of a gnome. Okay, she's took care of him. Another bird's nest there. See what we get. Nothing. No, no egg this time. Oh, we've got a rat there. Let's take this rat out. That's okay, she's already done it for me. Uh, we've got another bird's nest there. Surely it's got to be an egg on that. I can see it. No. Oh, formidable gnome. Let's take him out with a boomerang. Nice. Okay, there we go. Right, let's get back to camp. How much did I get up the get? Oh, okay. Pointless. Get rid of them gallows. Wasted them now. I don't know the recipe to build them. 52, I thought you'd get more than that. But then pillars, 384 for that, for three. So what's that, 100 and what? 120 odd for each. That's pretty good. Oh, we've got another delivery. We've got another journal. Read that quickly. Mushrooms and talks about mushrooms, bamboo shots. Uh, the animal nests. Um, an egg I left on my straw bed hatched into a baby giant squirrel and I'm a little worried about how jealous will react. Okay, so you can actually leave an egg on there and it will hatch by the sounds of it. Egg of a gnome. We pop a gnome onto it. Well, we are exhausted. Let's sleep first. Loyal, you're going to have to move, buddy. And um, we have, uh, we've improved the recipe around chair, nice. Uh, let's pop this, what should we go for, the gnome or the rat? We'll go for the gnome. Grab that and let's pop it down on the bed. Let's see what happens. See if we get a little gnome up here. Is he going to be a hostile gnome? We don't know. Or oh, over much turkey there. Attack him. Yeah, let's get my boomerang on him. Nice. Uh, right, let's quickly cut this meat off as well. Uh, we could make a boiled egg as well. Yeah, let's make a boiled egg. Why not? Let's put them away. She's still very hungry. So let's pop a gnome on the bone. Let's give her, to, give her, give that to her. Me boar. There we go. She's eating it. All right, out. Oh. She's still very hungry. Grab. Give her a handful of crim. Oh, anyway, let's trade. Let's pop it all into there. So, a handful of crim. Let's pop that into there. And I'll keep the boiled egg for myself. 
There we go. So that should sort her out now. And we'll see what happens with that egg. Uh, let's quickly get rid of this as well. So, got quite a bit. Now, fang, we'll keep the fang. Let's we'll pop that into our box. Keep this stuff on us. Post should have blown this confusion. We'll keep that on us just to throw our enemies, just in case we get into a tricky fight. Um, and we're doing okay at the minute. So let's have a quick look at my character. All right, so I haven't got any feats at the minute. Look, I can acquire. But my two handy's gone up slightly. Um, I'll get in there slowly. Slow start, anyway. But it's a uh, managed to get ourselves a weapon. We got a, we got a helmet. We've um, beat some of the uh, starter quests. Managed to get an egg. We we'll pop that on there. We'll see what happens. See if a gnome does um, gear out of that egg. And um, we've got quite a bit of money as well, so we've got, what, 1,139 orange so far. So when that first tax bill comes, we should have enough to actually pay it, because we haven't got anything going on at the minute. So we're looking good. Um, I'll leave that here for episode one, guys. I appreciate you for watching, and I will see you in episode two.